It's a well-known fact that time is money and especially so when you run an online business because nowadays the average visitor spends less than 15 seconds on a website. So that means that if they don't find what they're looking for within 15 seconds, well, basically they're gone. So that means that from the moment that they land on your home page, scroll up or down the page to see if they're in the right place, then check the menu section, perhaps click on one of those links. If that doesn't happen within 15 seconds, well, that's too late. That's it. They're gone. Now, this means loss of sale, repeat business as well, and all the referrals that come with it. So you're not just losing one customer here at a time, but possibly dozens of clients that won't buy from you. So if your website is too slow to load, you're basically losing money each and every day. And this is why when running an online business, time truly is money. So today I'm bringing you the ultimate solution when it comes to hosting providers. Now let me introduce you to the fastest WordPress hosting provider ever. And that is, drumroll, WPX. And that's not just a bold claim that they're making themselves, not at all. So as you can see here, WPX won all global speed tested categories in independent testing 2022. So if you click on this link, it will open up a new page, which is this one here. And as you can see, this is an independent peer review. So this is reliable source, obviously, you know. And as you can see, they won in 2019, 2020, 2021, and also in 2022. And in three different categories, as you can see below 25 US dollars, between 25 and 50 dollars, and below 100 dollars. So all together, they are the all-round winner for 2022 as well. So who took part in that competition? Were they big names, big companies, or they're all just unknown hosting companies, you might think? Well, let's have a quick look. If we scroll down the page here, the under 25 we had, for instance, GoDaddy, DreamHost, Cloudways, InMotion Hosting, side ground so these are all big names of the hosting industry so they were not competing against small companies or newcomers or anything like this no not at all so as you can see these are all big names big players in the industry so if we scroll down the page as you can see these are the results so wpx.net 0.21 of a second and it goes down right up to over a second for wp cycle vapor host side ground almost a full second as well so as you can see number one on the list here again is wpx.net so let's scroll down the page a little bit again and let's have a look at the 25 up to 50 dollars category now and again big names as well we have crystal hosting from the uk we have press labs raid boxes side ground wordpress.com themselves and then wpx and again wpx came up first at 0.21 of a second right down to 1.19 seconds for wordpress.com so so this goes to show and finally in the below 100 dollars which is this one here we have again cloudways dreamhost pressable red boxes saving cloud salesforce surfboard and wpx and once more who's first wpx.net with 0.21 of a second so again this is an independently peered review here this is this is not them claiming to be the fastest the best or anything like this this is an actual third party review taking into consideration consideration the biggest names in the industry. Okay, very good. So WPX is a hosting company that specializes in WordPress hosting. So now that we've seen how they compare against some industry leaders, now let's compare their hosting plans against two of the main hosting companies that are specifically dedicated to WordPress and known for their performances. Namely, we have Kinsta and WP Engine. Okay, so just to compare here, we're going to use the same basis, so on a monthly basis for all of them. As you can see, if you go yearly, you can save two months for free as well. So instead of paying for 12 months, you pay only for 10, which is already a bit of savings. Now, on a monthly basis, as you can see, the business plan here is $24.99, up to five websites, 10 gig of storage, and 100 gigabyte of bandwidth. So this all together, it's already a very nice plan. So let's compare this to our first one, which is WP Engine. 
So as you can see, WP Engine, this is their website here. So again, we're comparing apples with apples here, not apples with oranges. Again, we're going to base this on the monthly and in US dollars, okay? So if we scroll down, as you can see, this one per month is 24 US dollars. So you might think, well, wait, hold on a second. Now, th this is actually cheaper. It is cheaper, but as you can see, if we scroll down the page, it's only for one website and only 50 gig of bandwidth. So if you want it to reach the same level as this, meaning five websites and 100 gig of bandwidth, you'll have to increase your package already. So the next one up, as you can see for three sites, this is already 47 US dollars. And then the next one up, I think is for 10. There you go, and this is 92 US dollars. So already from the start and from the get go here, as you can see, we can get up to five websites, 10 gig of storage and 100 gig of bandwidth per month for just 24.99. So this is already a great advantage for WPX. Okay, very good. So next we have Kinsta. So this is their website here. So let's discover their plans, view plans. And again, we're going to compare apples with apples. And this is basically on a monthly basis again and in US dollars. So the startup plan. So this is one WordPress installation only, not five, one and 10 gig of space. So this is the same. This is already 35 US dollars per month. Now, if you wanted to host five websites like WPX and their entry level uh, hosting plan, as you can see, this would cost you 115 US dollars per month to get the same level of service okay guys so now i'm gonna let you in on a little secret Shh, don't tell anyone okay the people at wpx told me that they are planning to upgrade their plans and to provide the customers with an even better value check this out now and there it is guys as you can see for the business profession and elite plan they will increase the disk space the bandwidth the ram and also the cpu size okay so all together let's take the business plan here instead of 10 gig you will now receive 15 gig of space the bandwidth will be increased from 100 gigabyte to 200 gigabyte per month the ram as well will be increased by 50 percent instead of 256 megabytes you will receive 384 megabytes and also there will be a change in the core uh, available from the cpu size okay so one core no changes for business but if you take professional and elite you will go from 1.5 cores to two cores and from two to three cores so this is massively important and big upgrade as well and all of this for the same price Okay, now that we've seen how they stack up against the competition, let's see for ourselves if their hosting is easy to use. And also let's test their support team as well, because if you decide to move over to WPX, we hope that at least it's a user-friendly and not too complicated platform to use. Okay, so let's find out. Okay, so we're back to the WPX.net website. And as you can see here, they claim that our WordPress exports will move your websites to us within 24 hours and all of this for free so if you have a hosting at the moment with uh, maybe one or two or more websites hosted on them well basically they're going to move all of these websites for you for free within 24 hours so this is very handy indeed especially if you are of the non-techie type but even if you are an expert uh, in that matter it's always handy to know that someone can be there looking after you and taking care of this for you okay so if you scroll down the page again we have a few different advantages here as you can see they offer you as well free site speed optimization free unlimited site transfer to wpx free lightning fast cdn so content delivery network and also free malware detection and removal and they're going to fix your website as well if it's down so all together we have to agree this is a fantastic support team that they have there and so much so they claim that they have a 30 seconds average support response so you know what let's put this to the test let's go and ask them a question a simple question and see how long it's gonna get, take them to actually get back to us so let's put this to the test now okay very good so let me remove myself we're gonna use this uh, chat box here so let's click on this and let's ask them a question. So my name is David. I'm going to put my email address. There you go. Let's start the chat. So let's see now. I'm just going to ask them a simple question. Let's put this one here. So I'm planning to move my website over to you. At the moment, we have HPanel with Hostinger. Can you move our website over for us? How long would that take? So there you go. We started. Uh, the inquiry here and they claim that normally you wouldn't take more than 30 seconds that's the average response time so what i'll do i'll probably put a timer here uh, as we 
the edit and just to show how long it's going to take. So there you go. We got an answer already. That was very fast, wasn't it? So their claims stand true, you know, as you can see. There you go. Hi there. Theodore is replying already. That was quick, guys. Wow. So it is true, you know, 30 seconds average support response time. This is this is true. So let's see uh, how they're going to handle the query now. It looks like Theodore is typing a little bit. And then he says, the answer is yes, we will be able to migrate your website from hosting or to us. In order to migrate your website to our server, we uh, we will need to, to send us a migration form first. So this is basically it, you know. So I suppose if I click on this now, this is going to open a new tab. And I have all the details here. So let me zoom in very quickly. There you go. So let me close this for now. There you go. So I want to migrate my site to WPX. How can I start the migration? So we have a few guidelines here, obviously, you know, and they will help us with that. So let's go back here. And now let's discover the backend, basically, your account. Once you've registered with them, you can log in and then access the account. And let me show you how this works. OK, so basically we go to log in. So again, as I said, I've already registered with them. So all you need is your email address and the password that you use at registration and then click login. There you go. So this is basically your main dashboard. OK, so as you can see, this is your main hosting, the one we created for Mr. Webreviews.com. And as you can see, this one is active. OK, and as you can see, I went ahead with the business plan at $24.99 US dollars per month. So now to access your backend and all the tools uh, required to tweak and customize your hosting and basically install WordPress and all of that you all you have to do is click on this here manage service so let's click on this and again it's all about simplicity of use as you can see by the side everything is laid out in a logical chronological manner so first you want to know about your service details so this is basically what we have here with the billing details server detail usage and that's basically it and then after this what you want to do well technically you want to manage your website so either install wordpress or maybe import it okay so this is the next step so we click on managed websites there you go so as you can see this is our main website mrwebreviews.com and as you can see you can manage wordpress or you can start a migration as well so either way you can do this immediately from here so to install wordpress all you have to do is to click on manage wordpress there you go and then we have our screen here okay so install wordpress on website or install wordpress in a subdirectory so usually you're going to use the main folder your html folder so I'll click on this one and then from here, you're going to select the database. So that's created by default already for you. Make sure your admin email is correct. And then you can create a username. So something hard to guess, I suppose, you know, a mixture of uh, letters and numbers. And then you can create a password. So usually you're going to suggest a password. If you're using Google Chrome, that's going to done, uh, be done automatically. Or you can click on this generate password. Either way is fine. And then we can then install WordPress. There you go. As you can see, this is done and it's going to give you all your credentials here. OK, so you have the, the admin username and also the WordPress admin password. This is to access your WordPress dashboard, obviously. So you want to save this somewhere safe, you know, so copy and paste this and keep it somewhere else, somewhere safe. And then you back to that screen. And then as you can see, the SSL will be installed automatically for you. And then that's basically it. Now you're done with your WordPress installation. So next we're going to check the database as we saw early on it will create it automatically for you as well and there you go as you can see you have the database and the size 1.72 megabyte and what i like about this is that it says immediately to which website it is attached because very often this is an issue you have especially with cpanel or hpanel for hosting or you have the database name but you don't know which website is attached to it you have to actually go on your website and then check out which database is attached to it whereas here it's done automatically for us which is very very convenient indeed now if you wanted to open your database to tweak things around as well you can open this using php my admin so let's click on this and there you go so this is our database so if i click on this with all the information right here and then you can go and change any of those uh, fields if you wanted to okay so that's basically it so next in the logical sequence of things you want to create an email address for your website so you click on email boxes again everything is structured in a very logical manner 
there you go so as you can see here you have all the information required so very often uh, if you want to use your email address uh, with outlook or gmail or any or maybe yahoo services you can import uh, your own email address with your domain name and you're going to need a certain set of information which is readily available here for us as you can see you're going to need the incoming outgoing server this is the one uh, your, your ip address sometimes as well and also which port you need to enable uh, for ssl and tsl so this is already there you don't have to look for it it's super easy and to create an email address all you have to do is click add an email a box there you go and then fill out those details basically okay so let's do this very quickly so perhaps something like this you know it could be sales at mrwebreviews.com it's asking for your real name so david gary and then scroll down here and then you have the password that's basically it you know and then click submit and this is how you can easily create just an email address for your own domain name and there you go as you can see we get a confirmation email box sales at mr web reviews was created so that's basically it and there it is and you can see your quota as well you know uh, how big and how much uh, space you're using at the moment so next we have the ftp user so if you want to access your website using maybe filezilla or something like this you know maybe you have a developer uh, working on your website they will need uh, to create an ftp user in order to access the server so this is another option and as you can see all the details are right there and then you can create your users right here okay so this is another feature and then obviously after this once you've created your domain name created wordpress and all that you want to change and to link this to your server so you can edit all your dns here so as you can see we're getting a message here that says this feature is for advanced power users and it can easily break your website if not used correctly so it's just a word of caution and warning okay so as you can see here you have to choose a domain so let's select our domain mrwebreviews.com and then you can create a new record so as you can see at the moment we have air records mx records spf records but if you wanted to create maybe a new ns records or add any other type of records you can do this very easily all you have to do is add a new record as you can see se select the type so c name mx txt spf uh, dkim and srv so this is up to you really you know whatever you have to do but again a word of caution this can break your website obviously you know so this is just again another feature readily available for you now if you want to access the files on your server without using an ftp client you can go here file manager open file manager and there you go as you can see we have access to our website now immediately from here so we go into public html and this is all our wordpress installation as you can see wp admin wp content and wp includes and maybe you want to change something on your hd access file or maybe wp config.php whichever it is you know and then you can copy files download files or whatever you want to do basically you know the same way you would do with a, an ftp server okay so that's basically it so next we have the backups obviously you know very important feature as well so we select a website so let's select mrwebreviews.com so there you go as you can see here we have managed personal backup so we can create a backup basically you know and then you can restore backup download backup and delete backup so at the moment we don't have any backups yet so we need to set that up so let's click on this so now these are parcel backup is slightly different you know as you can see parcel backups are custom manual backups of your website that are kept for 24 hours only so here's the thing okay remember that wpx hosting creates automatic daily backups for all your website for the previous 28 days so you don't actually have to run any backups manually yourself unless you really want to okay and if you wanted to i just click yes i want to create my backup okay so i'm just going to decline for now so again a very important feature here backups are being made and created for you automatically every single day for the past 28 days so you don't have to worry about anything all is done for you already okay so last we have wpx cloud and this section basically is all related to content delivery networks or cdn so what is a cdn well basically it's your website being copied on several servers worldwide and basically if anyone is coming from any part of the world so if someone is based in the uk they will redirect them to the nearest server which is located in the uk so if it's someone from america they will redirect them to the nearest server in the united states so that way your website will always load in the fastest possible manner and again this is built in and enabled by default automatically for you so again a fantastic feature which will obviously enable your website to load fast 
Okay, so now let's find out what other people think of WPX as a hosting company. So let's check the reviews online, shall we? So I pulled out the Trustpilot page for them and they got 2,420 reviews so far with 96% of those reviews saying that they are excellent. So to me, that this is a clear sign that uh, this is a solid hosting company. You know, they, they won't let you down, that's for sure. All right, so if you want to give them a go, the people at WPX kindly provided our audience with a discount code that will give you access to 25% discount. So for all the details, check in the description below. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in our next video.